Welcome to our video on the Rulo seed line from Mossa. Capable of 1200 trays an hour and we believe the best high speed seed line in the world. One of the big advantages of the Rulo which affects labour productivity is the change over time between batches of seed. Here the operator is going to change the drum on the seed line. First of all he removes the seed hopper, then the scraper bar underneath the seed drum and then the white seed catcher. Then the end plate comes off the drum allowing the drum to be removed very easily by sliding it off. Note the green seals that are exposed when the drum is taken off which are the seals for the blow-off and the purge section of the seeding cycle. When the seed drum is put back on, you will see that the whole process, including removal and refitting of the drum, takes less than 60 seconds. And I think this is less than any other machine on the market. The controls are very easy to access and control on the Rulo. On the right you see a counter, along with an auto start and auto stop button, a pause button and then the large button is the screen for the air removal of doubles and also the blow off for the extraction of seed to the left. The knob at the end of the seed drum adjusts the vacuum inside the drum and when altered changes the vacuum very quickly so the effect on singulation can be seen quickly and therefore the machine can be fine tuned. Starting and stopping the machine is very easy with the start and pause button in order to be able to check the quality of seeding. Or alternatively you can put it on auto stop mode which stops the drum in a precise position each rotation so that you can check the percentage singles and doubles. This feature allows you to fine tune the seeding in order to get the optimal percentage singles and thus the best result. The seed hopper moves from side to side to agitate the seed and thus present the seed in the best way to the nozzle as it passes through the seed hopper. The result here is that you get the best percentage singles Towards the top of the shot you will see the white singulation manifolds which are designed to remove the doubles. The overall objective is to get as high a percentage singles as possible by A picking up no misses but at the expense of some extra doubles and then with the singulation manifold to remove all the doubles and end up with the maximum number of singles. This is the singulation manifold with 12 holes all angled towards the centre with the sole objective of removing doubles, which it does very effectively. To summarise then, the Mossa Cedar is unique in achieving high percentage singulation by first of all picking up doubles at the expense of no misses and then removing them with the unique singulation manifold. We now move to the Tanamira and Antle Nursery in Salinas, California where we have a complete installation. And here you can see the complete line from tray filler through cedar to vermiculite coverer and tray stacker. Here you can see the automatic tray de-stacker working at approximately 1200 trays per hour but also you can see that the operator is quite comfortably keeping up which would not be possible on a manually fed line at this speed. We also have automatic de-stackers for nesting trays such as thermoform plastic trays which separate the trays at the same speed and accuracy. We now move from the tray de-stacker along to the filling section where you can see a roller holding the tray in place while the tray feeds into the tray filler. Here you can see the back end of the button belt which conveys peat from the peat hopper onto the top of the tray. The buttons are designed to be able to pull peat through and fill the tray as uniformly as possible. Note the button belt is moving sideways on a cam 
which means the peat is being presented to the tray from a lot of different angles, again helping the fill of the tray. Next you can see the magic fingers which are the floating nail type fingers which move up and down on top of the tray and push soil down in cells where the peat is a little bit loose in order to make all cells uniform and the same. Again even at high speed. At the end of the tray filler all excess compost is returned by dropping through onto a lower conveyor belt which takes it back and into the, the hopper. This separates it totally from the seeder section and thus there is no pollution of compost with seed, an important advantage. Next you can see the rolling dibble which is powered and has a long dibble on it. Here we're getting ready to seed a new batch and putting seed into the hopper. I'm sorry that the operator is out by 90 degrees but this will right itself in a moment. The operator is now starting the machine. You can see the black hose in the foreground is the blow-off hose supplying the air for the simulation which comes from the vacuum pump and as such is warm air and is also very accurate to control which helps the simulation process. Also note that the seed in the hopper is moving side to side for optimal presentation to the nozzles. The nozzles themselves are actually stainless steel inserts into the aluminum drum which gives the most accurate hole size and also maintains the hole size over a long period of time. The tray then passes out of the seed line to the vermiculite dispenser and the water tunnel before being stacked onto a pallet ready to go into the germination room. Mossa also supply an AP52 tray stacker which is not on this location but can be seen in a few seconds on another location in Chile, South America.